Just past these doors is where R.W. Groom has written dozens upon dozens of songs. Easily, right? A hundred songs or more. Wife Pam shares she and R.W. met teaching here at what was then Antioch High. R.W. taught English. And the kids giggled a bit because they thought we liked each other. And one of the things they truly connected on was being fans of a group with music they could put on and just get lost in it. Grew up as young kids listening to the Beatles, the lyrics, it just kind of shaped our youth. Yeah. Abbey Road is definitely our favorite album, wouldn't yeah. you say? And so, of course, they've taken a visit to, you know, the crosswalk. For us, it was magical. RW also spread that love for the Beatles to best friend Bob McCracken, engineer, producer, and musician. This is Bob's home studio where RW's done all that writing. There was this one song recorded here about 20 years ago that jumps out. I thought he was crazy when he came in and said, I've written the song using all Beatles titles. No, we're not doing that. Oh, yes, they were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he started playing it for me and singing it for me. And I thought, it's really a song. The past five years have been difficult ones. R.W., who is this lover of words and prolific writer, teacher, he started to drop ordinary words. And primary progressive aphasia is this neurogenerative degenerative disease that affects the left side of your brain and hits the language. R.W. bought me that sign a couple years ago when he could still drive. The last word is love. That's been, it's been hard. That's been a bit hard. Yes, yes, to lose words, the things he loves. Bob and Pam say now's the time they'd like to share that special song, the one dedicated to musical inspirations. Now they have some big hopes for it. I can be super obvious and say for Paul McCartney to hear the song. That would be great. Oh, wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? Yeah. But there's something else they'd like for you to take from it. The genius of my best friend. Back then. We were John Ben Brave and James Bond Cool. Like Kubek Short and John Wayne Tall. There you go, this is you. Marilyn had nothing on you. And I wanted to be Boris Sanders, <laughs> News Channel 5.